so I finally got my first pair of Shell Cordovan boots. Um, these are from the Mirman MTO program, uh, the made to order program. Um, I'm really excited. I ordered these back in February and I got these about a month ago. Um, it's summer here, so I don't really get to wear boots uh, all that much. Um, you may be asking yourself, what in the hell is uh, Shell Cordovan? So why don't you stick around and let's check these out. Hey guys, welcome back to another Gear Style unboxing. Uh, so a lot of you are already probably familiar with uh, Mirman Mallorca shoes, uh, but for those of you who are not, uh, Mirman is a shoe brand out of Spain. Uh, their products are designed in Spain, but then they're manufactured in China, um, and then they're finished off in Spain, uh, thus um, saving some costs and passing those savings along to us. Uh, Mirman offers uh, their main line, which uh, starts at $195, uh, depending on the style. Um, and they'll go up, but not by much. Um, they also offer their Linea Maestro, which is completely uh, hand welted uh, and therefore a little bit more expensive. Um, and then they also have their MTO, which from time to time, they'll have uh, a specific uh, type, uh, a specific style or a specific type of leather or finish. And then you can go ahead and place an order and it'll take about two to three months for you to get those shoes. So this actually now makes uh, my second MTO pair of shoes, I guess, technically, since uh, my only pair of Beckett Simonon is an MTO, but technically all their shoes are MTO. So Mirman actually saves all their past uh, MTO campaigns. Uh, you can go under their website and look at all the expired uh, campaigns. If you do like some of their older styles, you can actually put your uh, name on the mailing list and they'll let you know when that style uh, does, if it does come back. So as I mentioned, these are Shell Cordovan leather, uh, not to be confused with Cordovan color, which is kind of like a burgundy-ish color. Shell Cordovan actually comes from the rear quarters of the horse, basically the butt of the horse. And it's actually a fleshy membrane right underneath the dermis uh, and it's very resilient. The name comes from the city of Cordova, uh, Spain, which is where it was first produced in the 7th century by the Visigoths. The tanning process for Shell Cordovan is very, very elaborate. So the boots that I order are this olive uh, drab kind of green uh, color that is, I think it's really, really cool. Um, I, I don't have anything like this, so I thought it'd be really cool to add something different to my collection. So one of the best tanneries in the world that produces Shell Cordovan is actually Horween uh, Leather Company, which is uh, here in the States in Chicago, Illinois. Um, these are actually not Horween though. Uh, they would be a lot more expensive if they actually were. Um, these actually come from uh, Shinki Hikaku. Uh, it's a family owned tannery uh, out of Himeji, Japan. Uh, these guys actually follow uh, completely handmade methods. Ancient methods that have been passed from generation to generation. They use a full vegetable tanning process. Following a 10 month process uh, where it is actually pit tanned um, and then air dried and then glazed by hand. So definitely not an inferior leather than Horween, but it is uh, less costly. Um, definitely worth it. Um, like all Mirman shoes, these are Goodyear welted, 360 degree Goodyear welted with a hidden uh, or blind stitch. If you remember uh, the uh, suede loafers that I unboxed uh, a while back, same type of blind stitch, but these actually have uh, JR soles or John Redenbach uh, out of Germany. And this type of leather is super widely recognized as one of the best uh, leathers for sole is extremely dense and therefore very very uh, resistant and it'll last a long time uh, so I'm actually very excited to try these uh, this is the first time I have uh, 
JR soles in any of my shoes. So the boot itself is a split toe type of derby boot. Uh, I, again, I don't have any split toes, uh, derby shoes or boots. It is something that de definitely different than what I have. As I mentioned earlier, it's, it's summer. It gets really hot here in Austin, so I will probably won't get to wear these for another couple of months, uh, probably until the fall. Um, but yeah, man, these are so awesome. I'm super excited. What I'm gonna do um, real quick, I'm gonna add a little bit of a shine to these. I'm not gonna go crazy. I probably will never do a mirror shine on these since they're a very casual type of boot, but I wanna get some protection on here. So I've actually been trying this uh, new uh, polishes and creams and stuff, pure polish. They're very, very good. They use all natural um, uh, fruit oil types. Uh, this is the conditioner. Uh, I believe it has uh, orange peel oil. Uh, it smells amazing. Very different type of smell than um, the uh, than the Saphir stuff. I'm sorry, guys. I have a cold right now. I know that I sound uh, really bad right now, but uh, bear with me. Uh, and I recently ordered this guy, also from Pure Polish, and this is their Forest Green Cream Polish. Um, so I want to apply this to uh, this olive green. Um, I also have the wax polish. This is actually the, the high shine. This is actually the high shine polish. So I'll just add a very light layer of this. It is neutral. So um, the only other polish that I have from there right now is a brown polish. Um, uh, so let's get started.
So speaking of Japanese tanneries, <laughs> um, one thing I recently picked up from a Japanese, um, from several Japanese shoe shiners, is that after you buff the cream polish with the brush, you go over it with a clean cloth and try to remove all the excess um, cream polish off the shoe. All right, um, all nice and polished and, and ready to wear. Um, what do you guys think of these, huh? Would you wear them? Uh, would you not? Uh, leave me a comment below. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. And I'll see you guys on the next one.